Hello everyone and welcome to the Jontoman channel. I'm your host, Jontoman. Today we are going to be playing Animal Crossing New Horizons for the Switch. This is my first ever Animal Crossing, so it'll be exciting to see. For some reason, it seems like every game I play on this channel is the first time ever. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Animal Crossing. I'm supposed to be a Nintendo main, but apparently I'm a bad Nintendo player. But anyways, Good morning, we're so excited to have you here, have you here. Let us be the first to congratulate you on your wise decision to sign up for this adventure. Welcome to the check-in counter for your deserted island getaway package! There is so much to look forward to, but first, let us introduce ourselves. I'm Timmy with Nook Inc. And I'm Tommy. We'll be flying to the island with you to help you get settled. Think of us as your partners. We're in it for the long haul, so let's get started, shall we? Now then, we'll need to look up your application. Can we have your name and birthday? Birthday? Well, of course, my name is John Tomin. That's my given birth name. I love how they just squeaked out the letters when I was typing it. That's so adorable. Are you okay with Jontoman? The world of Animal Crossing is welcoming to all, so don't include personal info or offensive words. Jontoman, Jontoman, let's see. Oh yes, here you are. Our next step will be to take a picture of you, Jontoman. Oh, don't worry. Take as much time as you need to get yourself looking just the way you want. We'll be ready when you are. You are. Please choose your style. You can change this later. Am I a boy style or a girl style? Hmm. Okay, I guess we should be somewhat accurate. So what's my skin tone? I would say that's right. Well, none of these are my haircut, really. Yeah, none of these are accurate, so... We'll just do the default one. I would like my hair color to be platinum, but right now it's actually just pure black. I'm gonna choose these almond ones. I think they're the most accurate. And my eye color. It'll probably be brown, that's the closest. My nose. I like the triangle. And I'll choose the smallest lips. And no blush. Great, you're all set, all set. I'll just go ahead and add that picture to your records. And now, let's start talking about your new home. So exciting, exciting. You see, we're quite proud of the work we've done to help you feel comfortable in your new life. 
Oh yes, in fact, if you want, you can even experience the seasons the same way you're used to them. What I mean is, we have islands in both the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. We recommend choosing an island that has the same seasonal pattern as your current home. Current home. So tell me, gentlemen, where do you live now? Live now. North America or elsewhere? Of course, because that's how the world is categorized. North America or elsewhere. Ah, excellent. That information really helps us focus on just the right island for you. So naturally, we'd recommend that you relocate to an island in the Northern Hemisphere. There are a few more decisions to make, but does that sound okay for you so far? So far? Okay. Very good. We have a number of lovely uninhabited islands in the Northern Hemisphere to choose from. Now then, all of our islands are approximately the same size and they're all quite natural. So don't worry about whether you'll have enough space or comfort, you can't go wrong. Just follow your instincts and choose an island with a layout that looks appealing. That's how I do it. I'll show you some maps now and you can choose the best one for your new home. New home. Okay, so... They all honestly look the same. Like, of course, they're different, but they all look like they have the exact same properties. You have two areas where the lakes meet the beach, and they're all pretty much the same size. So... I'm not really picky, so I'm just going to choose the first one that was generated. Is this the island you want? Okay. Wonderful choice. Choice. I can't wait to show it off to you. Why does he keep repeating his words, Timmy? That Timmy. Ah, oh, but before we depart, I have just one final question for you. If you could only bring one thing with you to a deserted island, what would it be? What would it be? A sleeping bag, a lamp, some food, something to kill time. Oh gosh, I thought that said something to kill me. I didn't... Oh. I think that should be reworded, but whatever. Something to pass the time. What would I bring? Probably a sleeping bag. I just want to sleep. How interesting. Oh, I'm sorry, that was just a hypothetical question. Nook Inc. will fully cover all of your basic needs. Yes, yes. Your attention, please. This is a service announcement. The chartered flight for Nook Inc.'s deserted island getaway package is ready for boarding. Any customers waiting to board should make their way to the gate at this time. Ah, perfect timing. Come on, let's all board the plane together, together. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for taking this chartered flight as part of Nook Inc.'s Deserted Island Getaways package. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy a complimentary video presentation about deserted island life. Oh no, there are bugs on my island. Oh no! There's nature! Oh, I'm not used to this. No! What am I doing with my life? I'm just kidding. Well, almost kidding. I'm okay with no bugs, but... Oh well. That's life. Nature is life, and life is nature. Except in industrial areas, but whatever. Oh, they all look so happy. 
I don't know, being stranded on an island does not sound like a good experience personally, but whatever. There's so many reality TV shows about being stranded on an island, I guess, so I guess it's popular in some way. But I don't know. Welcome to Animal Crossing New Horizons. I have cherries. Lots of cherry trees. We are here! Now, I know you must be incredibly excited to explore your new island home, but I have one small request. Would you please join us for a short orientation session in the nearby plaza? Our fearless leader himself will be giving a presentation, so I'd hate for you to miss it. We're heading there right now if you'd like to move the L-Stick to follow us. Follow guides. Let's hustle. Okay, Biff. Want to get left behind? Let's go. But look how much cherry trees there's to pick. Alright, is that everyone? Let's see. Is Anya here? And how about Biff? And there's Gentleman, of course. Great, we're all here. I'll turn it over to you, Mr. Nook. <clears throat> Our three adventurers are ready to get started. Adventurers. Yes, yes, very good. Let's see, how shall I begin? Yes, of course. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to your new island. My name is Tom Nook, and I'm the founder and president of Nook Inc. Yes, yes. Today is the first day of your new life on this pristine, lovely island, so congratulations. And this is a package deal, hmm? As such, Nook Inc. staff will always be here to support you and ensure your comfort and safety. But first things first, yes, yes. I'd like each of you to choose a spot of your own. It's the first step to putting down some real roots. I'd like you to dream big. I do have certain connections in construction and real estate, and... Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's just get started with a simple tent, shall we? Please collect your tent from Timmy or Tommy, and then choose a spot to place it. Excuse me, I highly recommend picking up your tent from either Timmy or Tommy first. But I want to go exploring. Here you go, gentlemen. Your very own tent. Once you find the perfect spot, press X to access your inventory, then select your tent to place it. Don't worry, you'll get a chance to see what it looks like before making your final decision. And you'll want a little breathing room, so take your time finding a space that works for you. Oh, I suppose I should probably set you up with a map too. Once you put up your tent, please find your way back here. Use your new map if you need it. Well, off you go. I hope you find a great spot. Once you put up your tent, please come back and let us know. I'm afraid I'm just as new to this island as you are, so I can't offer any recommendations quite yet. And I do have one more small favor to ask. Please don't pick up anything from the ground, and please don't shake the trees either. No, no. The proper waivers must be signed first, hmm? What? I have to sign waivers to go exploring? 
What is this? This is tyranny. Ew. This is a beautiful scene. But it's way too close to this center area. You know, Tom Nook said I can't shake trees, but... <laughs> Am I allowed to build on the beach? Because actually this looks pretty beautiful right over here. I'll go exploring the rest of the island first, but I think that's the area I want to live in. And it's really close to Dodo Airlines. I don't know what that's for, but I'm sure it'll come in handy. Hey, it's Biff! Yo, I'm Biff. You're Jontleman, right? Nice to meet you, Squirt. So, find a good place for a tent? I'm looking to pitch mine somewhere close to nature so I can train my body and my soul, Squirt. Um... Why am I a Squirt? We're like almost the same height. I don't know. Biff is, Biff is a little condescending, honestly. How about you, Agnes? You're... Wait, I got it. Don't tell me. You're a gentleman, right? See, I told you I had it. I'm on, yes. I gotta tell ya. I'm excited to do this whole island thing, Snuffle. Looks like we're both having trouble deciding where to set up our tents. I mean, it's a pretty big decision. Of course, no matter where we settle down on this little island, at least we'll be neighbors. <laughs> Shaking trees without Tom Nook's permission. Oh, that's a huge fish. I'm gonna go fishing. Okay, I think that beach spot is honestly the best spot. So... I'm gonna settle down there. To the beach! Our new beach home. Oh, it looks so perfect. Yeah, you know what? I like it. I like it over here. I always wanted a beach tent. I set up my tent. That's a big first step. Tom Nook still needs to tell me a few things, so I'll check this out later. But... Spent all that time setting up my tent, and I can't go inside it. What a shame. What do you have to say, Biff? You already set up your tent, eh? I'm still trying to find the perfect spot. I'll be doing some serious cardio, so it's gotta have lots of fresh air. I think this spot would do the trick, but I don't know. What do you think, gentlemen? I'll find you a spot, Biff. What? You'll help me find a sweet spot to put this tent? Seriously? Well, we just met and you're already doing some heavy lifting on your friendship, gentlemen. Okay then, can't wait to see the epic spot you picked for me. My tent is in your hands, Squirt. You got this. If you need me, I'll be over at the plaza visualizing how awesome island life is going to be. Okay, so... Where should I put Biff? Because Biff is a... Uh, I don't know, he's a little condescending to me, honestly, so I kind of don't want him close by. 
I mean, he did say he wanted cardio, so maybe I'll put him about here? Yeah, this is pretty far from me. I think over here is good. And I'll be nice, I'll give him a lake view. No, I don't want it to take the tree. Yes, I think this is the spot. Biff's got a place for his tent now. Perfect. What about Anya's? You already found a good spot, huh? I was trying to just feel for the best spot, but I was having trouble because every spot feels like the best one. Oh, I feel you, Anya's. I couldn't just sit here thinking it over forever, so I grabbed a stick and threw it. And here's where it landed. So now this is my spot. Okay, I know there's only so far I could throw the stick, but I'm liking this. You know what, Anya's? I'll find you a spot. Well, for real, you, you're gonna pick out the perfect spot for me? You do that for someone you just met? You know, you're all right, gentlemen. In that case, here you go. It's your show now, Snuffle. You go pick out the perfect spot for that tent I gave you. I'm gonna go wait at the plaza in the meantime, okay? Okay, where should we put Agnes? Because I don't even know if I'm pronouncing Agnes correctly. It might be Agnes or something. But... Hmm. Agnes... I'll put you... You know what, you're better than Biff, honestly. At least you're not talking down to me like he was. So, I'll put you a bit closer, but I also understand we both need our privacy. So, maybe here? I'm too close to the water, I need more room. Really? That looks like- that, that looked perfect though, honestly. A little bit north. I mean, we have to do a little landscaping, but I think it's worth it. Okay. Now Agnes has a place to live. Looks like everyone has a spot picked up for their tents now. I need to get back to the plaza. Welcome back everyone. I hope you all found just the right spots to set up your new homes. Of course, you can sleep on it for a while, hmm? Ready to get a feel for how it suits you. And with that taken care of, we can move on to more serious business. Like throwing an island warming party. We'll have it right here in the plaza with a roaring campfire. We'll just need a few supplies to get started, yes? Since we'll all be living here together, this will be a good test of our teamwork. Let's see. Timmy, Agnes, Tommy, and Biff can set up things here in the plaza. Meanwhile, John Tumin and I will work on gathering firewood and perhaps a little snack. Alright everyone, let's get to it. John Tumin, will you come see me for a moment? Gathering can be a tough workout. Just pace yourself and get what you need. You got this, Squirt. Gold. Gold is what his logo is. Way to get those materials. The campfire is going to be cracking in no time, Snuffle. What's a Snuffle? I don't know. Leave the setup to us. We'll be counting on you to get the supplies. Please check with our boss, Tom Nook. 
about what supplies we'll need. Excuse me, I want to make sure we get off to a great start, so would you mind talking to me first? These characters. I don't know why. I just want to go exploring, like I paid for, and they never let me do it. Ah, gentlemen, I just wanted to go over what we'll need for the campfire. I think roughly 10 tree branches should do the trick. You can find them scattered about the island. So, when you find one lying on the ground, just press Y to pick it up. Meanwhile, I'll investigate the cherry-like items growing in the trees. I suspect they're real cherries. You mean you don't know if they're cherries or some poisonous substance? Tom Nook, what are you trying to do to me? Cherry? Question mark? Cherry? Question mark? Tree branch. I'm just pressing all the buttons, seeing what they're doing. You can't save right now. Alrighty. Just collecting all the tree branches. And you know what? I want these cherries. We don't know if they're cherries or some poisonous fruit, but... Oh well. Did I just pick up some weeds? Oh wow. So you can really... just... terraform this island. Yeah, I don't want any weeds by my house. Okay, I'm thinking I'm picking up more weeds than I am tree branches. How much did I need? Oh, I think I have enough tree branches. So... Alrighty. After you've gathered up ten tree branches, please talk to our boss, to Mr. Nook. Oh, good, good, gentlemen. It looks like you've managed to collect up the tree branches, huh? You found even more than I asked? I only need the ten, but I'm sure you'll find a good use for the rest. I'll take what you need off your hands now. Yes, yes, that should be plenty for our campfire. You made quick work of that. I'm quite glad that I'll be sharing this desolate island with such a hard worker. Oh ho! And speaking of surviving on a desolate island, our next task is to round up something to snack on. While you were collecting branches, I was evaluating the fruit that seems to be abundant here. They look like cherries, they smell like cherries, and they even taste like cherries. In fact, they are 100% without a doubt genuine cherries. So, will you collect six of them for me? Oh, what's this? You've already collected enough cherries for everyone, haven't you? Well, well, I, I knew you were the right one for the job. Thank you once again. Tom, I thought you told me not to pick up the cherries, so I'm surprised you're not mad, but whatever. I'll go ahead and take those off your hands and get started on the preparations. Thank <laughs> you. 
No, is that everything? Yes, yes, I believe it is. Let's get started with the festivities. Ooh, a bonfire. Or a campfire. I don't know. At last, allow me to properly welcome you to your new island. I have participated in many ventures and endeavors over the years, but this may be the most exciting. Helping develop a thriving new community entirely from scratch will truly test my business acumen. And perhaps my skills as an outdoorsman, hmm? Oh ho. Now we may not have the kind of numbers that I originally envisioned, but that just means we'll have to rise to the challenge. And I have no doubt that with the hard work and perseverance, we'll shape this deserted island into... I suppose we can't call this a deserted island anymore, huh? But what should we call it? I sense a great opportunity. As the first residents of this island, we should be the ones to name it. And in the spirit of democracy, we should put it to a vote. Majority rules. Hmm. So take a little time to think, and when everyone is ready, I'll present your ideas. Suggest a name for the island. Oh. I don't know. What should we name this island? You can't change this. This can be seen by others during local and online plays, so pick an appropriate name. Oh gosh, I think I need a little bit of time to think about this, because I really don't know. No, I think that's good. Number 6-9. Are you okay with number 6 9? You know what? Let's add a space before this. There we go. Yes. Alright, is everyone ready? Let's try seeing our ideas all at the same time. Ready? Go! Number 6 9 Swoville, Timtown, Rackland, Awesome Beach. Swoleville? You know, I thought my answer was borderline appropriate, number 6-9, but Swoleville? Okay, that's the game. The game said that. What a, what a splendid variety. Yes, yes, each one a potential gem. Now for the voting. I will say each name in order, and you can clap for the one you think is best. Gentlemen seems to have the enthusiasm and the naming sensibilities. Let's start there. So, Gentlemen suggested number 6 9. Wow, that's an overwhelmingly positive response. Each and every one of you clapped. I suppose if everyone is in agreement, we could just go with number 6 9. Hooray! Splendid! Then from now on, this island will be known as number 6-9. Well, gentlemen, since you've proven yourself by naming number 6-9, I'd like to rely on you for other critical decisions we'll need to make on this island. Yes, yes, I hereby name you the resident representative of number 6-9. Gentlemen, could you please say a word or two as the new spokesperson for your neighbors? Howdy! A word or two? You can count on me. Um... Yeah, we'll just go with the most anime answer. You can count on me! Hmm, so... We've settled on a name for our island, and we've selected our resident representative. It's been a big day, but it's gotten rather late, so let's have a toast. Everyone have a beverage in hand? It's fresh juice made from cherries! Ew! You know, I don't really care for cherries. I know some people do, so congrats to them, but me personally, no. No cherries for me. 
Not even in black forest cake or anything. I just don't care for cherries. It's fresh juice made from cherries, our new resident representative harvested on this very island. Then, without further ado, a toast to number 6-9 and the happiness of its residents. Cheers! Oh, I love my island now. I basically did nothing, but I'm already happy. Sitting around a campfire with cups of cherry juice, it almost feels like we're family. He can call me bro. Okay, bro. Or Biff. What about you, Agnes? A party around a campfire on a deserted island. Wow, now this rocks, Snuffle. Thank you. I keep thinking you're crying or something whenever you say Snuffle, even though that's Sniffle, but I don't know. Number 6-9, number 6-9. What a great name, just rolls off the tongue. Thank you for offering such a wonderful idea to the group. Hehehe. <laughs> He's such a child. He's so innocent. You handled your tasks perfectly. You got a nice campfire going. Ah, gentlemen, having a good time, yes? I know this was all a bit much, so if you feel like taking a short nap in your tent, by all means, go ahead. We'll keep the fire burning. I'm not tired yet. Yes, yes, I should have known you would have plenty of energy. Well, enjoy the moment. Just stop by and see me for a quick chat before you turn in. I have something to give you. Wait, what? You have something to give me? Well, if you have something for me, maybe I'll go take a nap. Sounds good to me, but first, you'll probably want this. It's your very own camping cot. You'll want to set it up in your tent before you lie down. Oh, and there are a few packages waiting in your tent as well, huh? Just a few items that might be useful. To open packages and use the things inside, press A. And when you're ready, you can move L to crawl into bed. We've got another big day ahead of us tomorrow, so rest up as much as you can tonight. Yes, yes, that's all from me for now. That's all from me for now. Sweet dreams, gentlemen. Ugh, English is hard. Oh, I can use some more cherry juice. Not really. I just explained how I don't really care for cherries. Um, just do weeding my island. You know what? I think that's good for now. Ooh, a shell. What? What's squirting out the water? Are those crabs? First things first, I need to do what I can to make this island a home. Aw. Okay, back to my beach house. An old style radio? And a lamp.
I'll put the radio on the corner just so I have more room and I'll put what's that sound oh that must be the radio yeah turn it off that was creepy that was like a ghost story or something okay camping cot what I like putting things on corners. There we go. Oh, it's a beautiful pattern too. Rest my head for a little while. Rest. KK Slider? So, looks like you decided to make your own way in the world. Get out there, explore new frontiers. That's all the way, right, daddy -o? You don't need to live by anyone's rules but your own. The world has... The world was made for exploring, you know? Living free, being out there, it's a great feeling. Yeah, but take it from a cat who's been out on the road. Being by your lonesome can grind on the soul. From a cat? You've gotta make friends along the way. Rambling this crazy world is Wearsville without some pals. Yeah, man. Friends are where it's at. Speaking of rambling, I'm doing a bit of that myself. My bad. Maybe it's about time for you to wake up to your new life. Oh, but listen up. That rap I just gave you about friends, it's pretty key. You'll dig this island life a whole lot more if you share it with some friends, if that's your scene. Yeah, an island paradise with your best pals sounds pretty groovy to me. Cool. When you wake up, you'll be in sync with real time. Dig that island life and I'll catch you later. John Toman, are you in there? Oh, I hope I haven't woken you abruptly. Ah, but I do wish to discuss something with you. Yes, yes. I'll be here when you're ready. That's kind of creepy, Tom Nook. Oh, I'm still on my bed. Okay, guys, I think that's going to be it for today. We accomplished a lot. I think we finished the beginning tutorial. We probably have some more things to do for the tutorial, but we'll do that next time. Alrighty, guys. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.